Okay, yeah, it's a, it's a great question because mixability does have something to do with whey protein. It necessarily doesn't have something to do with the quality of the actual protein as far as digestible indispensable amino acid score and amino acids. Right? It's got nothing to do with it. But if you want to define quality as how well something mixes, whether it foams or not, yeah, then that then we could discuss that. Okay, so protein powder, in order for it to mix with the spoon, so if I were to take the Mega Whey, which is right here, and if I put it in water, and I just let it, it hits the water, it needs an emulsifier added to it. If there was no emulsifier, it would just sit there. And if you stirred it with a spoon, it wouldn't go in the solution. It would just turn into like mud. It would turn into just disgusting sludge. But an emulsifier has been added to this, and the emulsifier is sunflower lecithin. In the past, a lot of times it used to be some uh, soy lecithin, but then I, I wrote a whole, I did a whole TikTok on that. We're not gonna get into it. We're just gonna talk about how if something foams or doesn't foam. All right, now the foaming, if something is not instantized, yes, if you shake it up a lot, it will foam up. Okay, so if you see like in my past TikToks, I did a TikTok on a clear whey protein. That doesn't have any lecithin added to it. So there's a little foaming. Now this is has sunflower lecithin. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll shake it up, okay? Because foaming, when you shake it up a lot or put a lot of, I would say like a blender to it and you hit it, yes, it's gonna, it's gonna start to foam. But here's the thing. Every whey protein manufacturer, there's a bunch. There's Glambia, there's Wisconsin Whey, there's Milk Specialties, there's Fonterra. They have their factories where they literally make the whey protein. And it's a, it's a food science technology on adding this emulsifier to the powder. It's food science, and, it, and it's up to the food scientist to actually determine how much lecithin is added to the whey protein to get it to mix with the spoon. So, so it really is an art form, and that's why all whey protein powders will mix different, because once you add, once you add it to flavoring and things like that, it, it'll mix different, all right? So let's just take a look at it. Now, I just mix this in a shaker cup, okay? And I really don't see too much foaming. Okay, so now what you want to do is after you shake it up, let it sit there for, I don't know, two minutes to five minutes. And that foaming will calm down. And now look at this. I mean, there's no clumps whatsoever. There's no foaming whatsoever. I mean, look at that. Okay, so just, you know, just be gentle on it. Don't be too crazy.